just how excited are you that uh, your boys have been able to deliver uh, with only two matches played so far? Hey, congrats to the boys. Um, second game is not so easy. No, no, no game comes easy. From the first day, we knew it was going to be tough. And um, we try as much as possible to be ready for any opponent that comes through. So what we saw this evening is expected, but we are excited that we, we were able to pull through the line and win the next round. I, I noticed that after we scored the first goal in the third minute, it seemed to be quite a struggle up until the second goal came. There were a couple of chances created, but uh, the rhythm was lacking. Was that a case of complacency from our side? Uh, it could be. Um, you know, it's always easier said than done. I remember in the last um, parley with the press, there was a lady who also asked me, any Nigerian team, once they are up there, and then the next opponent, they try to drop their guards. And I try to defend the team. I still defend the team. But, uh, you know, anybody that is down fears no fall. And the Sudanese team is not a pushover. I've said it before, any team that has come here to play has come to try to do what? To qualify. And then with the um, 24 teams participating and everybody has a chance to come up like the best losers. So that motivated Sudanese to actually come up. We, we watched their game against, um, against Guinea-Bissau. They always dropped to midline with only one striker. But today they changed. And I told the boys, expect, the boys that it's expected. They can change their tactics and try to play, all, you know, play their game and move, move uh, ahead. And they, that's exactly what they did. Complacency is a little bit difficult to say yes or no, but we'll discuss this with the boys tomorrow. Um, Kele Chimwakale in two games um, have not been that player that Nigerians expected um, going by his track record in the under-17. Are you giving up on him or should we expect uh, more patience from you? More patience, I would say. And... He's been a French player in and out of the team. And now we've given him all the confidence to come in and not to start the game because Aribo has been there, good understanding with the team. And of course, uh, with um, Ndidi in the middle of the park. Ndidi actually haven't played with Kelechi. So it's a little bit difficult to just change the team's formation. So that's what it is. Kelechi, we all know, is a good player. We expect a lot more than this from him. <clears throat> when his set was down, and then um, you can see um, better football from, from him. He didn't do that badly. And you know, when you lack much reading, it also affects. But I think he performed well. Yes, um, many people have talked about Nigeria being favorite, so I claim it. So we claim it. It's not, gonna, it's not about saying game per game now, so we claim it. Because there is a power in the tongue. So we claim it. And we're talking about the public, um, the local people here. From the one, they've made us very, very comfortable. And we are brothers. We are, we are neighbors. And hopefully, we stay here till we go to the next round, where we have to be compelled to move. And I believe where we arrive also, we'll also enjoy the support of uh, the locals there too. With qualification to the next round wrapped up already, um, we have fringe players that have not made the team sheet at all. They have not made the team sheet at all. And some players that have not been able to play despite making the team sheet. Are we going to see chances handed out to um, the Onyekurus, the Peter Onye Olainkas, and maybe even the John Nobles? Oh, you already given a lineup. <laughs> yes, which is good. You see, I have been long enough with this team as a technical director from afar. But this is the closest I've been with the team, which is about three weeks now. And we actually started with quite a number of players, to be precise, 24 on the third, on the fourth of January. And on the fifth, we flew out. And the arrival here, nothing happened on the fifth at nine because we retired to bed about 2 a.m. And then preparation started on the sixth. And on the 11th, we had to be on the field. Um, so that was why when you see the lineup in these first two games, it's a little bit difficult to take risk. It's better to play with people that know themselves. You know, I can't say, hey, you, hey, B out, C in, A out. So it's 
would be a bit of a risk, you know. So that was why we maintained what we had up to this point in time. And we made, made it on, uh, clear to all the players. Everybody that has come here has a chance to play. Now, coming to the next game, yes, with, with qualification secured, with a win in our mind as well, I think we'll give a couple of players the opportunity to play. Yes. Are you keeping tabs on possibility of playing any of those teams in Group C? Are you putting your hands on the ground? You watched Ghana play yesterday. You saw Gabon. You saw that team before. That is my question, sir. I wish it's up to us to pick an opponent. That would be, that would be great. But again, every team that have come here are good enough to win this, this, this trophy. So whoever comes our way, to be, to be a champion, should be ready to play against any team. So any team that comes our way will be prepared to play. Uh, in the two games you have played, uh, you have maintained a, a certain uh, consistency in your substitutes. Uh, however, uh, the substitutions uh, might not have uh, the effect uh, desire. Uh, example of today, the team considered a few minutes after you made uh, all your change. Would you say uh, your substitution in this tournament has been spot on? And do you think the bench is strong enough to carry Nigeria as far as the people want in this tournament? Yeah, I think we're strong enough. But um, sometimes covering goal is a bit of a problem. You know, it's in front of goal. We, 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 we lose chances. And normally goal is always power. If we're not clearing the car in front of goal, it can turn around and hurt a team. You know, against Egypt, we made a couple of sitters today as well. So that was what gave Sudan the chance or hope. So they think, you know, they are in the game and they can survive. And they actually pose, pose a threat. And substitution, yes, it's been spot on. Like you can see, um, I want to hear the lone striker of Koyi and Achor behind him. He was tired, he was fucked out. So it was necessary for us to bring in fresh legs. But the instruction given to the player that comes in is a little bit different from what he goes in there and does. So it makes it a bit difficult, you know. But uh, I think we, we have, we have um, the bench rich enough to pull us through.